Amen. Amen. Just for closer walk with me. Amen. Each day that should be our plea, our request. Just a closer walk with thee. Amen. We are honored and pleased that you took the opportunity to come out this morning and participate in these events. They are very significant in the life of these parents. <coughs> Baptism, dedication, all these things God pleads with because he offers for you. And we know as parents, grandparents, that in this day and time, you better be prayed up. Amen. You Amen. need somebody yes. to look to in order to gain the strength that you need to make sure you get through. Amen. And we are honored and pleased that we have a God that has stated to us that he would never leave us, nor would he forsake us. Amen. This morning, we want to direct your attention as the Lord gave utterance and I thought about it, trying to propitiate in my mind which way to go. And we want to talk to you about a familiar passage in the Bible. Amen. Let's look at it for a while. We want to take you to the book of Job, the first chapter, beginning with verses 8. Through 10. King James Version. The book of Job. First chapter. Eight verse. Amen. And the Lord said unto Satan, Has thou considered my servant Job, that there is none like him in the earth, a perfect and an upright man, one that fears God, and his sweet Eva. Then Satan answered the Lord and said, Does Job fear God for naught? Hast thou not made an edge about him and about his house and about all that he has on every side? Thou hast blessed the work of his hands, and his substance is increased in the land. This morning, look at your neighbor and tell your neighbor, I'm under God's protection. I'm under God's protection. Look at somebody on the other side and tell them, I'm under God's protection. I'm under God's protection. You may be seated. That enough to make you want to shout. Amen. We have many protection systems today. We have CPI, we have ADT, we have so many devices that we think that we are safe with. But a thief will tell you point blank, if I have you as my intended victim, no matter how many alarms you have, I'm going to find a way to get through them. But God has a protection that even when he says what he says, the devil has a shake because he knows who God is. Right. The Bible tells us in the word translation, the Lord asks Satan, have you thought about my servant Job? No one in the world is like him. He is a man of eternity. He is decent. He fears God and he stays away from evil. No so force. He is a man of eternity. He is a decent man. 
he fears God. Satan answered the Lord. Haven't you given Job a reason to fear God? Haven't you put a protective fence around him, his own, and everything he has? And you have blessed everything he does. His cattle spreads out over the land. First of all, we see this wickedness in our place. God serves the angels and Satan shows up at God's command. And God asks Satan a simple question. Satan, where have you been? The answer was given to and for. Seeking to destroy everyone that I can destroy. This morning, you have to be aware this morning that your adversary, the steel, the devil, is looking to steal your joy. He's looking to destroy your family. He's looking to see if you are who you really say you are. There is something about a Holy Ghost field person. Amen. I'm not talking about somebody on Sunday. I'm talking about 365. Amen. Who knows that God is their Savior. God is their refuge. God is their all in all. And they put every aspect of life in God's hand. Amen. First of all, we look at this as the answer to God. I'm looking to destroy. But God had one person at this particular time that he brought to Satan's attention. Now you have to be a good person that God has ordained. You have to be somebody that God has called for God to pull you out of the group. And God said simply, since you've been down there walking to and fro, did you see my servant Job? There's a guy that a servant in his mouth. Come on, somebody. Yeah. Yeah, now, 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 I want you to know something, isn't it? Because first of all, it irritated Satan to have God fail somebody other than him. Yeah. Yeah, man, man, man. And Satan looks around. He says, simply, you only like Job. You ought to tolerate Job because you got your arms on it. Everything Job had, you done blessed him. Come on, somebody. Amen. You got a good job because you gave it to him. Amen. 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 He got good health because you gave it to him. But if you would just take it away, he'll cuss you just like anybody else. Come on, somebody. Amen. Well, 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 God knew what was going on. God knew what he had put in Job. Just like God knows what he's put in you. Amen. And you must be tried by the fire in order to be true. In the words, you've got to go through the trials and tribulations. And this life is full of trials and tribulations. You need to make sure this morning that when you're going through what you're going through, that your anchor falls. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, well, 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 take your hands off, Joe. Let me work with him a while. <laughs> Come on, son. Right. Two things you got to remember in this life is that you're going through a storm. Are you coming out? Amen. Are you listening to me? Sometimes life throws a bad trick at you. And sometimes we don't understand why what is happening to us is happening to us. But you've got to remember God says simply, I know the plans Amen. that I got for you. Yes. Amen. I did not say every day we're going to be Sunday. Yes. I did not say every day you're going to be happy. Yes. I told you that you're going to have trials yeah, and tribulations. Yeah. But I also yeah. told you, be a good cheer. Yeah. 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 Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. First of 
all pouring in the water. Blessings do follow obedience. Yes. Blessings do follow obedience. Following the word of God means you got to be living the word of God. Meaning that you must be steadfast in your walk this morning. You must be a good soldier of God. Because you're in the God's army now. Amen. Amen. When God says he wants you to go, you need to go. Amen. Quick question, why? Amen. Quick action, why? You got to move out in faith. Point number two. Disobedience brings discipline. Come on, somebody. Amen. Disobedience brings discipline. Scripture clearly tells you this morning for whom God chastises, He loves. Amen. 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 Anybody got a beaten lately? <laughs> Come on, somebody. Amen. If you have not got a beaten, suffer wrong. Because you are not perfect this morning. You make mistakes just like this. Amen. Amen. But knowing how to make a mistake and get it right is the difference. Sometimes people say to me, Pastor, I don't understand what's going on in my life. I wake up 2 and 3 o'clock in the morning. I just laugh. I say, simply because God is talking to you. Amen. Amen. God has a way of doing things that make you uncomfortable. Yes, yes. Tired as a dog. Yes, yes. Just roll up and down the road. All you want is some sleep. But God knows how to get your attention. Yes, yes. Amen. Everybody else snoring and you looking around. Yes. I want somebody. Yes. He's talking to you. Yes. Amen. And he want everybody else up. He don't want them up. Amen. It's amazing. I love this here because a lot of times as people, we like to blame it on somebody else. <laughs> That's the reason why when God, Jesus was walking in the garden of Eden, and he asked a simple question, Adam, where are you? The Bible clearly takes to us. He knew where Adam was. Amen. He was standing right beside Adam when he asked that question. <laughs> Amen. What don't need to have him looking around trying to find who you talking to me? <laughs> God wakes you up. Yes, I'm talking to you. Amen. Do you remember what you did today? Get in mind what I'm talking about. Amen. And when you decide to confess and say, Lord, forgive me, mm -hmm. you go back to sleep. All right. First of all, being disobedient to God's word will cause you some aches cause you some stress. You must stop leaning to your own understanding. This is what gets us into trouble this morning. We try to figure it out for ourselves. Someone went to the power and said, if you're going to pray, don't worry about it. But if you're going to worry about it, you don't pray. How many times have we made a melody out of a mole here? Amen. Amen. <laughs> Disobedience brings discipline. Someone said to me clearly one time, Amen. I said, Well, that's something you have to take up with the Lord. I didn't pay my tithes. I said, I ain't got nothing to do with that. No tithe between you and the Lord. You didn't pay him none Sunday. Now the blue light's on you. You're wondering what happened. God don't get his. He's going to teach you obedience. Amen. Amen. Not that God needs your money. Not that God needs anything you have. Because you have to remember everything you have belongs to God. Amen. Amen. Point number three. Don't expect God to explain it. Just do it. Amen. Don't expect God to explain it. Just do it. Look at the situation that we're talking to you about this morning. The Bible clearly tells us that Job was an upright man. Job feared the Lord. Job loved the Lord. But God did not ask Job permission to do what he was going to do to us. You have to remember this morning, you are the power. Amen. God said, I'm to tell you, you are the clay. I'm the power. Amen. I make you over. I'm the one that makes you. I'm the one that decides what's right and wrong for you. Hallelujah. Sometimes God tells us things that we 
don't understand it. This is really why we must make sure we understand. Lord, speak clearly to me. Talk to my heart again. And now, what is it that you want me to do? And God said, it tells you point blank, move. See, God knows that we have limited understanding. Amen. It's nothing worse than somebody asking for direction. Oh, I'm going to talk to somebody. You stop and ask for, 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 for direction. And they tell you to go down the South Street, turn on Main Street, then you get on Main Street, turn on Ellis Street. Well, you got lost, turn it on North Street. <laughs> <laughs> I pray to God this morning because the best thing man has ever come up with is a GPS system. <laughs> Hello, somebody. Yes. In the old days when I was a young man, we had what we called a Big Mac. You know, y'all know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Sit up all night plotting over the big map. <laughs> Amen. You better not miss intersection exit five. Because <laughs> you got to plot all over the <laughs> And you have a co pilot like I have a co pilot. What was the rerouting book? Because now you got to stop and do all your stuff in. Come on, somebody. Amen. You got to learn not to lean to your own understanding. You must know without a doubt this morning and be confirmed in your conviction. I don't know when God's going to do it. Yeah. I don't know how God's going to do it. Yeah. But I know he's going to do it. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Last point. When we hurt, it's important to remember that God is not our adversary. He's on our side. Someone once said simply, does God tip man? God has no reason to tip man. He made man. He's already predestined your steps. This is really why the Bible tells you, you must know this morning and let God order your steps. Yes. When you allow God to order your steps, you'll find out that everything falls in place. Amen. And now, no matter what anyone else says to you, you must know that the devil is trying to kill you Amen. and destroy you. God is on your side. God allows evil, but God is not evil. God allows mistakes, but God is not a mistake. You got to know this morning that much of the problem that we are inquiring today is because somebody has made a decision that was not popular and is causing grief. We're going to talk about women issues. We're going to talk about abortion. We're going to talk about lesbianism, homosexuality. People look and they listen, but their heart is not proceeding. God is still a God of order. He's a God of love, a God of mercy. God loves each and every last one of us, but God does not condone your sin. Amen. You can't make right. Wrong or wrong right. They stand for themselves. First of all, Job is introduced to us. God allows Satan to test him. Notice this here. God allowed Satan to test him. You've got to know this morning when Satan comes amongst you. You can't fight it. You can't reach the fever. I love it when people tell me I told Satan to go to hell. <laughs> Hello, somebody. That's like telling your child to go upstairs to his room. <laughs> Everything up there in his room is his. Right. You ain't causing no punishment. <laughs> Amen. You can't tell Satan none of that stuff. All you can do is rebuke him. But you got to know the name to rebuke him in. Amen. There's a name that's above all names. Yeah. And at that name, You got to look at Joe's prestige. Let me talk a little bit. Can I talk a little bit with you? Amen. The Bible tells about his faith. Amen. He lived in the land of us. He was blameless. Complete integrity. He feared God. He stayed away from evil. His fortune. He had 7,000 sheep. 3,000 camels. 500 tons of ox, teams of oxen. 500 female donors. He employed many servants. He was, in fact, the richest man in the entire area. His family. He had seven sons, three daughters. 
But his pains were simple. His children didn't do what he wanted to do. Children cause for some headaches. Anybody know what I'm talking about? Amen. Amen. You better go and learn how to bend that tree while it's tender. Amen. And that old tree gonna grow. That's right. And you ain't gonna be able to bend it no more. Right. You can only give it the benefit of your mouth. Amen. We got to remember to always tell our children the truth. Amen. Let them decide for themselves. Right. And you then stick to your goods. Amen. This is the rule. How many people in here adopt this rule? It's my way or the highway. Amen. It's several terms, it's my house. In my house. This is what's going to happen. In my house, this is what's going to happen. Now, when I get in your house, that's a different story. Amen. But as long as I'm mom and dad, you better let me have my way in your house, too. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> <Hello>, somebody. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> you ain't going to threaten me. Because <laughs> I know how to, I know what you need. Come on, somebody. Maybe. You don't want to invite me because you needed some money. <laughs> and I got it. Now, come on, somebody. <laughs> Take on down the wall, Joe's pain, his children were fighting. And let me look at this here that causes the problems here. The first thing that tells us in the first day, Job experienced four terrible tragedies. It says the Indians stole his oxen and his donkeys and killed all his farm hands. Fire fell from heaven, burned up all his sheep and his shepherds. The Chesapeake carried out all his camels, killed all his servants. Finally, a mighty wind blew on the house where his sons and daughters were and killed all of them. Job was experiencing trouble. But isn't it good to know, praise God, trouble don't last always. This was enough to cause turmoil in Job's life. But Job stayed fast. Amen. Stood fast. Amen. He did not waver. I wish I had a witness this morning. Amen. 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 God gave and God took away. Amen. But I'm still going to praise God. Amen. Can I get a witness this morning? Amen. And tell me the second tragedy. Job is afflicted with painful boils from head to foot. The reason for his trial is that Job had two competitions. God said, have you considered my servant to do? Now Job is suffering for what God has allowed. But Job stayed right there. Sure. Amen. Tell us your witness. Amen. Amen. Sometimes we got to find out and be like that. Even though I walk through the valley, or the shadow of death, Amen. I feel no evil. Yeah. For I know that you are with me. Yeah. Amen. Sometimes I don't know whether I'm coming or going. Amen. But that's all right also. I know everything's in the palm of your hand. Amen. Amen. Job stayed right there. He loved his family. He loved his sons and daughters. He loved all the ideas they talked about when he was living. But there is an evil spirit. The enemy of God. First of all, God is telling you that you better be on God. Put on the whole armor. That you might be what? Able to withstand the power of me. Amen. I wish I had a witness. Amen. Amen. You got to realize that while we are on earth, we're in Satan's grasp. And he knows that we are vulnerable. He knows that we are human. But he knows that we got somebody that got our back. I wish I had a witness on Jesus is our champion. Amen. Amen. He holds us. In the bottom of his hand. Yeah. Can I get a witness this morning? Yeah. Jesus said, turn off your anxieties over to God. Yeah. Because he cares for us. Yeah. Keep your mind clear. Yeah. Be alert. Yeah. Because your opponent, the devil, yeah. is prowling around like a lion. Yeah. Looking for someone to devour. Can I get a witness this morning? Yeah. God suffered Job yeah. to be tried. Yeah. And he suffered Peter to be shifted. Yeah. But even in the midst of it, he still said, I'll be God, and I'll be your God. I'll hold you by my right hand, and I'll lead you through the valley of the shadow of death. The scripture tells us that even though that we as humans have trials and tribulations, the word tells us that I'll be with you even to the 
in of the world. Come on, somebody. Second yeah. Chronicles 16 and 9. For the eyes of the Lord run to and forth throughout the whole earth to show himself strong in behalf of them whose heart is perfect toward him. And thou hast done foolish. Therefore, for his law, thou shalt have wars. Amen. God sees everything. God hears everything. Amen. God knows everything. Can I get a witness? Amen. The Bible says the angel of the Lord encamped round about them that fear him. But okay. Yes. And see that the Lord is good. And that okay. And see that the Lord. Come on, somebody. Oh, we the Lord. Oh, you, his saints. For there is no holy men that fear him. When you do what God tells you to do, he'll take care of you. When you walk through the valley, he'll be right there with you. Can I get a witness morning? When you get trouble in your home, come together, put Christ in the middle of that. When you get trouble at your job, take time to steal away and talk to God about your situation. When trouble on your way, look to the hill for which comes your help. Cover this morning, tell somebody, I'm blessed, I'm in favor. I know I'm blessed, I know I'm favor. I know I'm blessed, I know I'm favor. Why do you know this? Because he's always with me. He's always talking with me. He's always telling me which way to go. I hope somebody can understand this morning. He that dreaded.
in a match. But I got one. Amen. Amen. And God bless you. And never smile a thing. God's protection. God's protection. But you got to do something in order to get God's protection. Amen. Amen. He's telling you. The day that you hear my voice. My voice. Amen. Pardon out your heart. I know you done wrong. I know what you're going through. But come home. Come home. Amen. Come home. See, God loves us all. I told you. But God is still telling you, as I told the family earlier, I can only dedicate that child. But that child is going to grow up. If it be God's please. But he or she will have to accept God for themselves. Amen. And I said this this morning too. Sunday school class, but I'm saying to you now, so you need to know it. There's going to be a whole lot of crying, a whole lot of tear up when some of you, mom, when some of your mom and dad close their eyes. I'm going to tell you this now. Because God has answered their prayers. And God told you simply because you ask God to take care of your children. Anybody know what I'm talking about? Amen. You ask God to provide for your children. And He's done that. But if your child does not accept him when you close your eyes, there's going to be a whole lot of crying. Amen. A whole lot of pain. Because you got to accept it for yourself. Yes. You can't go to heaven on your mother's prayers. Amen. Your dad's prayers. You got to know it for yourself. And nobody goes to heaven except those that have a pure heart. Amen. Amen. No racism. You can't see colors. No hatred. You got to be able to love everyone. So if you got somebody down here that you can't stand, <laughs> you better be praying for them. Amen. Are you listening to me? I once told someone a joke. They said, that ain't funny. <laughs> said, it is funny to me. When you, you're so mad at people down here. You won't talk to them down here. You won't speak to them down here. And they die and you die and they in heaven. What you going to do? <laughs> What you gonna do? <laughs> no, that ain't gonna be. Don't you. Same thing gonna tell you. Okay, you ain't coming in here no way because you wasn't right in the first place. Like it is, right? Amen. All right. Amen. You better learn to get right down here. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yes. Need to get right down here. Yes, thank you. See, one thing in this ministry that I found out, let me get out of here. There's a whole lot of lies told at you. <laughs> I found out two things to be true. They can't talk to you, tell you that. And they can't correct you because you lie. They just got to sit there and lay down while you lie. I ain't spoke to my mama in five years. I ain't talked to my daddy in three years. But guess what? What day you come to the funeral? You can't talk to them now. Amen. Amen. Are you listening to what I'm saying to you? Amen. You need to put that child and stuff down. Amen. Yes. Amen. Get your heart right. Amen. Call and talk to your family. Right, sir. Because I want you to know you're going to need this. Yes. Sooner or later. Mm -hmm. You're going to need it. May God bless you. May God smile. Thank you. We're going to open the door to the church. For those that are watching us by media, we're going to ask you to take the time out of you pray with you. To accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. Father God, in the name of Jesus, forgive me, Father. I've heard your word. And now, Father God, I yield myself to you. Come into my heart. Father God, use me. I accept your Son, Jesus Christ, as my Lord and Savior. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Then go find the church. Go find the church and become a part of it. Amen? amen. And those who are here, hold God's protection. Those who are here.